no matter what I did, he was always there looking over me and he always gave me an option out. But before I knew that Jesus was real, it just, it, it didn't mean much to me. But then after my baptism, it's like, it's not like everything is just better. It's not like all my struggles go away. And I really struggled with like, okay, how can I give up this old lifestyle? How do I fight these temptations? How do I stay sexually pure? How do I, how do I do it? And I was reading the Bible and there's something about how like God never tests us or like there will never be a temptation beyond what we can endure. And essentially like God always gives us a way out. And so whenever I would feel a temptation, I would literally like have this visual of these voices of a demonic voice telling me the temptation and then of how I respond to it in the name of Jesus. Like, no, like I'm not, I'm not doing that. I don't have to do that. I'm free from that. And so it really wasn't about being like this, oh, holy Christian right away. Like I really struggled um, with all of that and like calling myself a Christian because, you know, I just, I wasn't one of the good, goody two shoe, like Christian kind of people, but I did have an encounter with Jesus that led me to believe in him and make me a Christ follower. And so it wasn't about me being perfect. He didn't need me to be perfect. He just needed me to keep following him. And that's what I did. Like, I didn't care about the rules. I didn't care about the religion. I cared about building that relationship with Jesus and in growing closer to Jesus and in reading his word and in being close to his people and in his church, my ways just naturally began to change because I began to see that there was something better. There was something better for me and that I wasn't like settling for anything less than what God has for you, I began to see it as literally settling for dumpster trash when God has prepared this whole beautiful feast for you.